Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you this simple little or duplicator thing from thermal dynamics, thermal expansion, just all this stuff. So what is this thing? So you see that iron goes in and it pulverizes it. it seems a little weird. Why would you be pulverizing the ore? Well, pulverizing the ore actually gives you two of the iron and that getting pulverized gives you two or get uh, getting smelted, my bad, gives you actually two of the iron ingots, and you may even get some nickel. Uh, I'm not sure if there are any other potential drops with this one, but it does give you some stuff like that. Uh, hold on, time sets here. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to build this thing because if you do have thermal expansion, thermal dynamics, uh, all that stuff, it is very, very useful to build. Obviously, this is probably the, the most basic setup that you can have here. It's a um, steam dynamo. If you know anything about the infinite energy stuff that you can do, which I'll do a tutorial on that sometime in the future, this steam dynamo is the basic, is the most basic thing you can get for this thing. So, I'm actually just going to show you how to build this thing. So, first thing you're going to want to do is build up just one and you're going to place a steam dynamo here. There you go. So now I'm going to put this, which is a leadstone flux duct, right here. And then I'm going to place my redstone furnace right next to it. And then my pulverizer on the top. So you're going to have a shape that looks like this. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put a chest on top of here and a chest on top of here. Good. So now I'm actually going to fill this in with water. So we need two water sources. You can place them here, 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 here. But if you place them right here and here, you fucked up and then you got to do it again. All right, cool. So now I'm just going to place a temporary block here. And then I'm going to put my reds or my hopper there. I guess you could do it with a chest now that this isn't 1.16. So this is the basic configuration with this thing. So I'll go around looking at it. we go so this is what it looks like so now I'm actually going to show you the configuration things here so pay a little bit of attention to this because the first time that I did this it confused me a little bit but I'm gonna go in-depth with this one so the first thing you want to do is you're gonna want to put this auto input and you're gonna want to put it to enable that's what's going to allow the items from this chest to flow down to here if you have a lot of things you can always do something like this and put an entire mining trip of items in here but we'll just keep it to one so that this double chest doesn't get overfilled. If you have multiple systems, then you would probably build this one higher, keep this down below one, or you would just have some sort of sorting system right next to it if you have some sort of chute. Um, I know that, what is it? I believe it's, um, what's that mod called? It's uh, Immersive Engineering. They have some sort of chute that you can put into an item sorter. So if you have something like that, but this is kind of like the basic model here that um, you can or duplicate from. So we're going to work on the configuration. So you're going to want to put the auto input on for both of these so that one, things can go from this chest to in here and then things can go from this chest in here and I'll put through there. So <clears throat> we're not going to be using any of these ones. So you can turn these ones off. This one, however, is going to stay in auto input, and then this one is going to go orange because orange indicates your output. So blue is your input, orange is your output. As you can see right here, it says output here, input here. So blue will be going to this chest right here. It'll go into the furnace and then it'll output into this chest. So you already turned the auto input on here. If you don't know how to do that, you just click this, be sure that's enabled. And then your auto input is going to be from here. So you're going to put the blue one there and then you can just turn these off. And then your auto output, oh, sorry, you don't turn this one off, but you turn this one to orange. So it'll come in from here and then it'll go into the chest and then it'll go down to the furnace right here. And then your output go into this hopper here which will go into this chest and to give it a little bit of a test i'm going to actually grab some coal let's grab coal blocks and then we will also grab uh, we'll grab some gold ore so to test this you're going to put 
your blocks of coal. You can use regular coal. I think you can use you can use any like flammable source or something. And then the reason we have this under here is because you want to grab water so that you can put water into this thing because that's what's going to power it. So it takes four buckets and that gets it just about all the way full. Not all the way, I guess. But now you can see that if we put our gold in here, it's going to start absorbing it. It's going to put it into the pulverizer here. If we wait just a little bit, the pulverizer is then going to take the gold that's in there. It's going to put it down into the dust form. And you may actually get some <clears throat> stuff right here, which is kind of like excess material that's in it. So like you saw over there, but now it goes into there. It'll go into this chest. And that is actually my bad because this is what you need. You need it to be up here because I don't know why I thought the leadstone flux duct was a thing. So put that up, but you'll see that it goes into the redstone furnace and then you get two gold ingots from one gold ore. So I'm going to run it over once again now that I don't have a mistake made. So chest here, this is for your minerals, your ores, your stuff that you get from any mod that can be pulverized down into the pulverizer so chest can remain empty this is your pulverizer pulverize the ore and is supposed to transport to the chest that's over here <clears throat> to do this with the configuration input is set from up here so blue will go onto the top it'll go down into here and then your output is supposed to go on the side which is the orange and that will go into this chest this chest will remain empty until some pulverized material goes into it and then you have this one, which the input is from up top <clears throat> and then the output is from the bottom. So input goes from this chest into the redstone furnace and then your output goes into this hopper, which it then ends up in here. And what I'm saying by excess material when I'm talking about this is I'm talking like um, you can see that we're getting some nickel from this. Um, if you saw what I did, I put iron in here only, but sometimes it'll filter out some weird bit here which it turns out can be nickel um i don't know other ones you can get but nickel is the one that i've gotten the most with this one so i only put one stack in here and we are receiving two stacks of iron so if you're on a tech based server this is probably the most useful thing that you will ever make aside from maybe like some sort of power generation automate something but this thing will help you it's very good early game it's not that expensive to make and it will just save you a ton of time so that's all for today's video thank you all so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed and i hope to see all of you in the next video goodbye everyone